Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. All right, everybody, after tons of speculation and a lot of people calling me crazy for saying this on my other channel, Around the Clock Shorts, it has been confirmed by NetherRealm Studios that indeed Kwai Liang is Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 1. This news comes from NetherRealm's Ed Boon and Dominic Cianciolo at this year's San Diego Comic Con, and here's what was said. I mean, there, there was a lot. I mean, when we when the decision was made, we wanted to reboot, wanted to do something different. I was really looking at you know you know all of that great foundation that we had before, and so what, and talking with Ed about it, what he really wanted to do was take that foundation, but take the story in a completely different direction, so that we're surprising people and adding that novelty to it. Yeah. Uh, and so being able to play with the classic Sub Zero Scorpion relationship, playing with uh, Melina's origin and sort of her relationship to Katana, to Katana and Sindel, uh, it was a lot of fun to, to to be able to tweak all of those things and just push them in a slightly different direction. Yeah, there are hints of things that you know. Again, there's always like a, a, a you know, a competition between Scorpion and Sub-Zero, but now they're not deadly enemies who are trying to kill each other. They're brothers, and it's kind of like a brotherly con conflict, right? And so all that's like one example of all the kind of things that we've kind of twisted around with the characters, the relationships, and um, throughout the game. And again, you know, Liu Kang and Raiden have literally switched. Liu Kang is like the god and Raiden's like the, you know, the more common common person. And so it's 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 great. Um, to me, that's one of the things I'm most excited about with this uh, game story. I mean, yeah, so it's, it's, Smoke is, he, he's, he is very similar to what we've seen before. The big difference is that we are playing up the relationship that he had with uh, Kwai Liang, uh, Scorpion. Um, and uh, it is taking that relationship and deepening it and, and fitting that into that whole brother dynamic. He is the adoptive brother of Sub-Zero and Scorpion. And uh, it, it really levels up sort of their, their conflicts and their relationships. So as you just saw there from those two clips, in the first clip, Ed Boon confirmed that yes, Scorpion and Sub-Zero are brothers in this game. And he said this plenty of times. And it's also in the official character's bio for Mortal Kombat 1. But what Dominic said in that second clip was very interesting. He did say that in this game, they're playing out the relationship between Smoke and Kualiang slash Scorpion, which, hey, this is a huge change because in every single Mortal Kombat game up until now, the Scorpion Mantle has been held by Hanzo Hasashi, but now it's being held by Kwa Liang. So the big question is, who is Smoke? Because in the character bio for Smoke, there's no name there for that character, although his background story does fit the same as Hanzo Asashi with his family being killed by the Lin Kuei. So hey, we'll see what happens, although it hasn't been confirmed. I stated this on my other channel Around the Clock Shorts that indeed, Hanzo Asashi just may be smoking Mortal Kombat 1, and with NetherRealm Studios stating that Kwai Liang is Scorpion in this game, everything is all coming together. So with that being said, that's going to do it for this video, and please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, remember to keep a lot tiered around the clock. We're here. We focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.